Hi guys, my name is Alessandra and I'm here today with my two horses, Fern and Sharp. And today I'm going to be doing a bit of training, um, clicker training for the first time ever, or of getting them used to needles. So this horse here, she's or 14 going on 15, seen the world and done it twice. Um, <laughs> so she's quite good with vaccinations. And this one here is my young project who is very needle shy. Um, since he cut his leg open, he decided that he didn't like injections anymore. So he is going to be the problem. She should be not that much of an issue. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to take you guys step by step through an easy horse and a more tricky horse on how to clicker train them to get used to the sensation of a needle. So let's get to it. So the things you're going to need from this is one horse. I've got two, but I'm going to do it one at a time. And I've got a few things here that I'm using to replicate like a needle. So for one, I've got a pen, which has obviously got the point on it. Uh, I've got a syringe because it almost looks sort of like a needle. So that can be something that is a trigger for some horses. And then I've also got a toothpick here. So a toothpick or a pen is they've got the same sort of idea with the point. Um, and also your fingernails as well can work if they're quite sharp. And then as a clicker, you don't have to have like a proper clicker or anything. I've just got an old torch here. So when I click that button, it's a noise. And eventually they're going to be associating that noise with them doing the right thing. I've also got some treats in here, but I'm not going to only be giving treats. I might just give a scratch sometimes for another way of saying good boy. So I'm not going through all my treats and feeding them way too much. All right, so I'm going to get shout out of the way get started on Fern and see how she goes. All right, so I hope this is an all right angle for you guys. I've got my clicker here ready. And the thing I'm gonna be using as a injection first is probably just gonna be my hand. So the first thing you're gonna to want to do is just see how sensitive the neck area is. If you can't get to patting them, even just like this and down the front of the neck for a, an injection into the vein, that's where you're gonna to need to start. So obviously she's quite comfortable with being touched here but she might start to notice something's up as soon as I'm getting out the syringe or something, or if I do the pinch on the neck. So I can see she's feeling a bit like, what are you about to do? So that's something that we're gonna work on first, is the pinching of the neck. So find the right place where you would administer it and pinch the neck and then release. If they're not reacting, you release, obviously, after. Right, if she was reacting, she was moving away, I would wait until she stopped what she did, give her a click, give her a treat or a scratch. So she's being super good right now, so she knows, she knows not to move, right? So pinch of the neck, she's doing nothing, so that's it. Good girl. I'm going to bring out the syringe here, looks a little more suspicious, so we'll see what she thinks of that. So here, alright, got the clicker ready if I need it, good girl. So find the spot, pinch the skin, and then I'm going to go in with this. And so she's very good with that, very good girl. But obviously this isn't a super sharp point, so what we can try it with next is the toothpick at the same time. So they get the feeling of the point from the toothpick with the syringe look of the injection. Right, so holding them together, and I'll try again, so pinching the skin was pinching the skin and so she's just moving there a bit so i'm going to wait till she stops and release and that release is the reward that she's looking for to know that she's doing the right thing try again so she's a bit shaky a bit nervous about what i'm doing and i'm going to stay with her don't release it until she stops good girl good girl good girl so she's not moving this time, so I would add the extra step of the poke. And she's being super good, so I'm holding that and releasing. So she's not reacting, so I don't need to hold it for too long. Let's do that a few more times. Good girl. Grabbing the skin. Whoa. Good. Good girl. So she's swishing at flies there. Um, I can tell because I can see them, but if there were no flies there, that kicking would be a sign that she is a bit agitated. And obviously we would like her to stop that as much as she can before you release the pressure. Right, good girl. Okay, one more time. 
more time with her because she's being super. Staying with her was. into the neck so how they do that um, is on this side look up is what the vets do for an injection into the vein back up is they have their hand here make sure she's obviously comfortable with that so she's not she's moving backwards so when she stops moving I release and go back to just my hand so for this one what they do is you find the vein and you put your thumb pretty firm on it but obviously not squishing their throat and you'll see the veins start to show a little bit more. So you can give that a tap so it really becomes quite obvious. So I can see this vein here now, I can feel it. And what you're gonna do is grab the thing that you're pretending is the injection, and you hold it there. And you give it a bit of pressure. So she is dead quiet, really impressed with her. So I can release that. Give a nice pat afterwards to let her know she's done a good job. Right, so now I'm gonna move on to Shart. It is his first um, training session with this ever. I'm going to use the clicker a little bit more with him just so he does understand when he's doing the right thing. Um, so yeah, you're going to be seeing in real time his progress and I'm going to try and film every training session that we do get to do together just so you can actually see how long it might take us to actually get to a stage where he's quite comfortable. Right, shout your turn. Thank you, Fern. Thank you. Right, Fern's gone, now it's time for Shout. So I'm expecting him to be quite nervous, quite fidgety, and really not enjoy this. So what I want to do is take it at his own step. So when he says no, that's a no. Um, and he might say no quite drastically, he might not be too fast, but we'll see what happens. And I'm gonna utilize the clicker. Where's my clicker? Here it is. Right, so he could very well be nervous of me even touching his neck. So let's see what we've got. Over. Good boy. And what a good man. Right. Let's get to it. So starting with this over his neck. And all I'm going to do is have my hand in the spot where it's going to go in. So he's already a bit cautious. You're already a bit cautious, aren't you, buddy? But he's standing still. So he's doing really well. So I'm moving my hand there. He wants to get out of my face. Once he moves his head away, once he moves his head away, he can already smell the treat, aren't you? No, no. He will move his head away, he just needs time to realise that. Good boy, that's what I wanted. Okay, so the next step is I'm going to try a pinch in this this might be literally all we get to. I might be only able to pinch his skin today and that's okay. I'm gonna keep the training session short, about 15, 10, 15 minutes, and that's all he's gonna need for now. Right, so finding the spot, and I'm gonna give this skin a pinch and see what he does. Good lad, whoa, good. And he, he shook his head, but he stopped what he was doing. So he gets a treat for that one. Not my fingers, give me a treat. Good lad. Right, let's try that again. Finding our spot, giving a pinch. And he's not fussed by that, so that's really awesome. Good lad. When I release, I give him the click, and that's what he's learning, is the right answer. Good boy, so scratches for that one. He doesn't need a treat every time. Obviously, he would love that, but <laughs> I don't have that much. So, good boy. Right, let's try that again. So, up here, up here, no. Pinching. Good boy. So he's very good with that one. What I will do now is try it on the other side and see how he is. Turn around. Good lad. Right, let's try it on this side. Uh -uh. <laughs> so, getting him standing still. Good boy. 
good. Good boy. Right, so I'm going to try the pinch with my Jean. So I find the spot where the injection would go. And I'm pinching until he stands. Good lad. Good boy. Sorry, he's just moved, so you can't really see it that well. But that's okay. If he wants to fidget, he's allowed to. But as soon as he stops, he gets the reward. Don't you, buddy? All right, I'm going to pinch him again. Pinching. And it's okay. Because he stopped, so I'm releasing. Good boy. Cool. Now this time I'm going to incorporate a little bit of tapping um, using my fingernails first before I go in with one of these tools because I know he is going to be quite shy about this and that's okay. So, having his head in a nice relaxed place. He already thinks I'm giving him a treat. You haven't done what I need yet. Right, head just like this. Perfect. Good boy. Right. Stretching in here. Here. Giving him a pinch. And right there is where I want to start with the poking. So he's not reacting to this a lot. He's a bit fidgety, which is fine. But when he stops flinching, good, is when I release. So you can do this all over the neck, but obviously you want to concentrate on the areas where there would be vaccine. So yep, yeah, once he stops flicking his head a wee bit, once he stops, good. Good lad. Good boy. Once he relaxes, I will stop. Good buddy. And I'm going to try that on the other side too now. Good. So he's, his muscle stopped flinching there. He did take one more step, but that's okay. Good buddy. Right, so that's awesome. That's the tapping. That is really quite good. Next up. I'm going to incorporate my fingernail. So I'm going to use my pinky now before I move on to the tools again, just because it is a little bit sharper than the tapping, but not quite as sharp as the toothpick or the pen. Okay. So what we've got to do is find our spot. And right there, I'm going to dig in with my pinky nail until he relaxes. He might walk away, but I'm keeping him with me. Good. So I held on to him. I did not release the pressure of my pinky on his neck until his feet had stopped and his head wasn't moving around too much. We're being really good. Same thing on this side because sometimes it's good to alternate sides with giving me uh, medication, especially if it's for an extended period of time. Right, so let's see how he is over here. Finding my spot, digging the pinky in. Good boy. Okay, so that was a wee bit off. So I'm going to bring him back again and ask for that again. I did release the pressure when he gave me a little stop, but it wasn't quite what I was looking for. So, pinky. We're back. So just as I thought, that did get a bit much for him. So what we're going to do is not go any further than that today. Right, so. I'm practicing again. I've got the, lead, the treat ready here, the clicker ready here. And I'm going to put my hand there again. Just see how he's just with the hand. Was Good boy. So he stood nicely. Get the treat. And I'm going to add a little bit of pressure. Not nail. Just my finger. Good boy. Making sure he doesn't eat the clicker would be good. Hey, buddy. Right. So this time, if he's going to react like that again, what I'm going to do for, excuse me, is... Release the pressure of my hand as soon as I get the exact reward at the same time as I click. Then he gets the treat straight away. Because I'm noticing that he's getting quite stressed about this, which is okay. So hand there. Breathing pressure. Good boy. Good lad. I'm going to bring his head down to a bit more of a relaxed posture too if I can. Good boy. Just got my hand there. Good lad. Good boy. Ready? Ready? Good boy. Good. So he walked off a wee bit, but I was able to slow him down. So that's fine. That was really good. 
I hope some of this is getting helpful. But I don't know. Right. Only got a few treats left, so we're just trying to end on a good note here. I don't have to go through all of them. I want to end on a good note. So he's walked off the past few times. But if I can just get a little bit of pressure there now, and then he can have the release, have the treat, and that's where we'll end there. And then we might do a little bit on his vein muscle, a vein there, sorry. Um, and then we'll call it a day. Because he's been really good. Right, so here. Good boy. Good boy. Give him a scratch. Give him some pressure. Good boy. Good boy. So he's a wee bit on that distress side with that head angle trying to get away. But he's not actively pulling on me. So that's really nice. Right, I might do one more. Good boy. So I've got the leg right Whoa, waiting for him to stand still. That was awesome. So that's where I'll leave that one. Good boy. Good buddy. That was super. Alright, so that's the first training session on intramuscular. I'm just going to see how he is with the veins. We might not get that much done today, but I'll give it a wee go and see what happens. Okay? So. There's only one here again like what I did with Fran. I like to give them a relaxed head first. Don't you that? That's not a treat. Giving him a stroke here if he's not okay with that, that's when you can start. But he's okay. So we get him to relax his neck here. Get down. Good. Get down. Good boy. And if he's real stressed about having his head low, that's where we will start with as well. So I'm gonna let him sit here for a minute. Give his head nice and low until he starts chewing. Whoa. There we go. Good boy. Okay, and then I move him, and I'm going to start by running my hand here, and ask him to head down again. Good boy! Right, I'm going to the thumb on. Good boy! Good boy! I click when I release, just so he's been good, and get some scratches. It's even good to scratch the area where you were working, so they learn you're not only just being doing mean things there, you can also give them nice cuddles and scratches there. Head down. Whoa, and he stops. Good. So when he stops making his head, I give him the reward. Good boy. Right, how many tricks more do I have? Ooh, so we got two here. So we'll try again. So sit down and relax. Just trying to figure out if you think I'm holding on to you. Squeeze here, looking at a wee bit so you can see where the vein is. Good boy, good boy. So there we go, no reaction at all. So that's awesome. Good boy. Right now, I think what I'll just do because I don't want to add on anything else just right now when I've only got two treats left is I will bring him down. Good boy. See if I can do it without holding directly onto his head like that. I'm going to push with my other hand. See, that's that's something that can set them off, is having two hands in the area, because they know that that means something's happening. Sit down. Good boy. So I release the pressure when he stopped moving backwards, and we'll try that again. Good boy. Come on. Good. Good boy. Uh -uh. Sit down. Good boy. Release the pressure when he gives me what I want. Oh. I'm going to try the two hands again this time, just for his last thing. Get, get nice and low to start with, hand on the, on the side, blocking the vein, give it a touch. And it's okay if he walks back, so I keep holding the pressure. Whoa. Good boy. And I might have been off frame there, because we took a fair few steps backwards, but they were quite slow, which is a nice reaction rather than them storming off or barging through you. I'm going to start a bit further forward and see if we can get the last go fully on camera for you. So you can see where I'm leaving off. Right. So, hand on. Get, get nice and low. Good boy. Flicking the vein. That's okay. Get down. Good boy. 
and I just have the other hand over here. Like it's not in the way, it's not doing anything. Good boy. Ah, ah, sorry, I clicked that at the wrong time and so he started. Good. Good boy. So that was a wee bit of a mixed message there because I clicked and then he did something wrong at the same time. So what I'll do is one more. I don't have a treat left. I've only got a tiny little treat left. Okay, right, so. One hand on the vein. Steady turn. Good boy. Stand up and keep nice and relaxed. There we are. Good boy. Can I bring this one on? tiny little crumb and a big scratch that was perfect so i'm sorry if any of that was confusing for you guys feel free to ask questions in the comments and um i will update you with our second training session which will probably be tomorrow morning or in the afternoon so yeah thank you guys for watching and i hope this will help you seeing his progress and obviously doing it on horses that do know exactly what they're doing might seem stupid but to be honest, it's actually not because it's really good to just keep those things consistent and fresh in any horse's mind, especially when you need an event in an emergency. And yeah, so keeping it fresh in their mind just really is going to help in the long run, especially with your youngsters. Hey, buddy. Good boy. So that is a positive end to a good training session. See you next time.